Hey everyone, SillyCat2 here. Welcome back for more Zelda Classic. Um, you may be wondering why I have the <coughs> red ring, the silver arrows, and the magic key. That's because I'd done like an hour of recording and then Cam Studio just decided to drop it for no apparent reason. Other than maybe that it was too long. I don't know. In any case, I'm here to show you where the uh, silver arrows are. I was just in the room where you got the map. You just walk through that wall and you wind up in here. Ouch. I'm not doing too good at this today. push this block and the silver arrows would be right there if I didn't pick them up already. If I hadn't picked them up already. Alright, next up I'll be showing you how to get to level 9. <coughs> As usual, level 9 isn't all that far from where it was in the first quest. But we gotta get up to the mountains. I'll show you exactly where it is if you let me cut. So here we are up near the top of the over up at the top of the overworld, way up in the mountains. And do you remember this arrow? Level nine is right here. All you gotta do is bomb the wall. With that said, let's begin. Okay, this is level nine. As you can see I've already explored quite a bit of the level. I still can't figure out how to find Ganon, but well, we'll do. There are two items in this level, the red ring and the magic key. To get the red ring, you take this path. And I kill a couple wizards to store my hearts a bit. Ow. You know, Link, fill up your hearts so you can shoot your sword with power. Alright, didn't get any hearts from that. Let's keep going up. You gotta be careful not to let your shield get eaten. My shield did get eaten, so I had to spend 160 rupees on a new one before I started reporting. I don't remember having to kill those guys, but whatever. Alright, then you blow up this wall here with a bomb. Walk through this wall. More wizards and like likes. Traps and land molas. The level 1 land always are easy. Especially if you have the red wing. This room has another Moldorm in it. 16 segments, I believe. Then you blow up this... Actually, wait, no, this doesn't go anywhere. At least, not to my knowledge. You kill all the keys and then push this block, and that puts you on the path to the red ring. <coughs> the map for this level kind of reminds me of the uh, spooky mask from Ocarina of Time. I wonder if that was intentional. Alright, anyway. Now we walk through this wall. And there are two ways we can go from here. I believe we are supposed to go down from here. 
for these guys to cover my heart a bit. Assuming they drop hearts. Yikes. I guess they don't. Yeah, whatever. There's a patcher in this room that you're gonna have to kill. But once you do. Wait, this isn't right. Is it? No, this is the way out after you get the red ring. Of course I just died. This game wouldn't have it any other way. Anyway. So yeah, let's kill these guys. Try not to die ourselves like we just did. Anyway. Wait a second. Huh? All right, wait a sec. This is where the uh, there's a key here. Where the heck is the red ring? I really don't remember. All right, you know what? Hang on a sec. Let's go through here this time. And the I mean, you'll know where the red ring is because there's a diamond-shaped pattern of blocks there. <coughs> but... Hmm. Alright, so you go down... Yeah, you go down through here and then the red ring is in this room. Okay, so that's where the red ring is. Now... Let me try and remember where to get the magic key. I think that if you go all the way up this way again... And then walk through this wall up here... go up this way. Ten rupee room here. Kill all of these like likes. You wind up in this room and you wind up having to... That's not right. No, that's where you gotta go after you get the magic key, I think. And where's the magic... I know where it is. I think I know where it is. That door to the left it is locked until you, you know, unlock it. I had to spend a hundred rupees on that key. 
turns out I was mostly useless, except for getting the boss key from fighting a Moldorm in a room that goes there. Then you just go south and you kill a few more enemies for the boss key. I'm not really going to show that right now because it's... Uh, Anyway, you take the north path and then just keep going north in that room where you must have the Triforce to enter. No! Yes! You say yes! I say no! You say stop! And I say go, go, go! Oh no! You say goodbye, and I say hello. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. That's right. I know where we are now. As you can see, Zelda is in the room directly to the right of us, but I have no idea how to get into Ganon's room. Anyway, you go this way, and then you blow up this wall, and I believe this is the magic key room, maybe. No, it's a passageway that leads to the magic key room. <coughs> Another Moldorm in here. Pretty easy to kill. And you walk through this wall here. And this is where the magic key is. Anyway. How do you get out of here? So anyway, let's see if we can figure out how to get out of this room now. That doesn't work. There we go. That puts us in this room here. Where's this room? Right, this is on the path to the red ring. <coughs> Which means that... Well, first of all, it means that I, it's only taken me 15 minutes to do what took me an hour the last time I recorded this. <coughs> and secondly, it means that we can go straight to Ganon. Now, assuming we can figure out where he is. Because quite frankly, I do not remember. Oh, rather, I do not know. I have no clue where the heck, how the heck you're supposed to get to him. I got pretty close to him, but I haven't found him yet. So I guess that's what this episode and the next one is going to be about, huh? So, if you like this part, subscribe to my videos, big yellow button up in the corner. Give me a thumbs up down below this video, and be sure to check out my other stuff. This is Silly Cat 2, I'll be seeing you in the next episode.